Hi, I'm Luca. Welcome to a new research paper summary by MarkTechPost.com. Today, we are going to talk about an explainable AI method developed at the Boston University. This method is called RISE, Randomized Input Sampling for Explanation. The purpose of explainable AI methods is to help humans to understand and interpret the predictions of a machine learning model. The transparency of machine learning models is essential, for example, in domains where a decision can have important consequences, like, for example, for a medical diagnosis. The major challenge is to explain the predictions of black box models due to their opacity. For example, deep learning methods are considered as black boxes, since they are highly recursive and too complicated to be understood by humans. Today, we are going to focus on explaining classification decisions made by a deep neural network on natural images. The goal of this paper is to use the RISE method to generate a saliency map or important map that shows how important is each pixel of an input image for the final prediction of the neural network. RISE is a black box method. This means that it can be applied to any of the shelf neural network used for image classification, since RISE doesn't assume any access to the internals of the neural network. This means that it doesn't use the gradients of the output layer, intermediate feature maps, or the weights of the neurons. Instead, solutions that require access to the internals of the neural network are called white box methods. Let's see how RISE works. An idea to measure the importance of an image region is to obscure it and observe how much this affects final decision of the neural network about the prediction of a specific class. In this case, we consider the class shark. So, the image is masked by preserving only a subset of its pixels. Note that the mask is not binary, but it has values between 0 and 1. Then, the confidence score for the masked image is computed by the black box model, in this case, a deep neural network. The intuition is that the score of the masked image is high when pixels preserved by the mask are important for the network to predict the class that we are considering, in this case, shark. This process is then applied for a certain number of randomly generated masks. For example, the researchers empirically decided to generate 4,000 masks when they evaluated RISE by using the VGG16 neural network. Note that the first masked image has a low importance of 0.09 for the prediction of the class shark. This likely happens since the first mask covers most of the body of the shark in the input image. On the other hand, the second and the last masked images present a higher confidence score. Finally, the saliency map is computed as a weighted sum of the random masks, where the weights are the confidence scores of the masked images. This means that if a pixel is present in many masked images that have a high confidence score, so this pixel will be considered very important for the final prediction of the network. Even if there is a growing interest in explainable machine learning, there is no standard about how to measure the explainable level of a machine learning model. Indeed, human evaluation is the main method used to measure how much a model is transparent and understandable by humans. So, another contribution of this paper is the proposal of two metrics that can be used to evaluate the explanations produced by explainable methods like RISE. In particular, the researchers propose two evaluation metrics called deletion and insertion. The intuition behind the deletion metric is that if we remove parts of the image that are important for the final prediction, this will bring the machine learning model to change its decision. Specifically, this metric measures a decrease in the probability of the predicted class while important pixels are removed. Clearly, the importance of the pixels is given by the output saliency map of RISE. We have a good explanation when we obtain a sharp drop, so a low area under the probability curve. 
On the other hand, the insertion metric adds pixels to the image based on their importance. In this way, it captures the ability of the pixel to synthesize the image, increasing the probability of the class of interest. In this case, a high curve indicates a good explanation. Did you like this explainable AI method? If yes, leave a like on this video. I hope to see you again in the next research paper summary by marktechpost.com.